Praise the Lord. Mike here. And we're going to talk about in this video, and I, I might make it a series, uh, how NASA fakes going into space. In this particular video, I'm just going to focus on the uh, video transition or the fade. And what that is, is having a video clip, then a separate video clip, and then you would put a fade in between these clips for a transition. And NASA uses these a lot aboard the ISS space, uh, space station, space station, they use this a lot to hide things and transition from one scene to another so they can switch things around. And so we see this transitioning effect quite a bit when we're watching clips aboard the ISS. Scripture says, Revelation 12, 9, that Satan and his angels were cast to earth and to deceive the whole world. And if you're part of the world, then you are capable of being deceived. And I, I don't think the church has really picked up on this. The, the church will tell you, you'll hear in a church saying, well, yeah, there's a lot of deception in the world. But I don't think the church realizes that everything is a deception, not just some things they pick and choose to be true. It's all deceiving. And so we are paying our government. Uh, like 2017, NASA received $17 billion. We gave them out of our pocket $17 billion so they can indoctrinate us and lie to us. And we're paying for it. So let's find out what our $17 billion is getting us here. The ISS is said to be over 100 yards long. That's about the size of American football field. Um, the ISS is not real. It's not in space. And so what they have to do is kind of what the old TOS series of Star Trek did. They, they had to make sets and sections of the Enterprise and kind of put them together. NASA does the same thing through computer-generated graphics. And uh, green screens, what they're able to do, the, the, they can make hallway after hallway seem continuous and long. Reality is they have to use what is called a transition. And what the transition allows them to do is make things look farther and longer and more continuous than what they actually really are. So we had a transition effect just to talk to this guy. And now he's going to go talk to the Russians. In between, we can show long, continuous hallways through a computer program or however they pulled it off. But to talk to the Russians, we're going to need another transition effect for that to happen. Let's watch. Okay. So now there must be another transition effect so that they can stop in the room to talk to the guy. Hey, put it here. Sometimes when working with a lot of frames in a video you're putting together, it's easy to put a fade on the wrong layer. In this case, somebody put a fade on the layer the guy was on going through the green screen and mistakenly faded him out. I'll show you how this is done. Hey everybody, you uh, probably remember Joey Rock from one of my other videos. Well, he's not moving. I don't think he's breathing. Fortunately, I think we just debunked evolution. Anyways, this is Mike. What the heck? What the heck? Oh no. Oh no. Listen. It's alive. <laughs> um so well just watch. Ta-da! Show you how I did that in a moment. So here's what I did. I don't have a computer right now that will run Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas. If I had that, we could make Joey Rock do some pretty amazing things. This is Camtasia Studio. Um, there is no way to do special effects with Camtasia Studio. So all we're going to work with is some fades here and a little uh, trickery. What I did was, in this frame here, I dropped Joey Rock, and I cut the section out where you could see Joey Rock fall right here. And then I went ahead and I went to File, Produce Special, and I exported this frame and put the frame into Photoshop here. 
So I'm going to hit Control Plus. We'll zoom in a little bit. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to remove my hand here. So we're going to select the Quick Selection tool. And we just want to go over our hand of the areas that we want selected. Let's see, get that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, if you mess up in Photoshop, and let's say you went outside the box, just hold the Alt key and select the areas you don't want selected. If you accidentally get outside your lines here. Once I have my hand selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Feather. And I want to feather it about two pixels to make things look smooth. After that, we're going to hit Control J. And that will put my hand on this new layer here. And then I want to take my crop tool and go ahead and crop my hand out, out of here. Now you notice this checker pattern. That means it's on a transparent background. And the reason why I want to crop it is, even though the background's transparent, the whole transparent background would show up as one big graphic file. And I really just want to work with the hand part holding Joey Rock here. And we're going to go ahead and save that as a, a transparent file. So I'm going to save it as a PNG file right here. And we'll just name it Joey Hand Rock or something. There we go. And so once I have my uh, hand, select, uh, hand selection saved to another file here. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of Photoshop. And I put that hand selection right here. You can see it right here. So um, now what I did was I put the hand, this hand, as you can see, I, move, I can move this hand around. Let's get rid of some of this fade. I, I can move this hand around. I, I just put this hand over the top of my other hand. And I set it on the layer above so that it would appear on top of whatever is in the background. And this is what happened in the ISS. Uh, we had a guy floating on wires, and he was doing so in a green screen. And what had happened was, as he turned the corner, somebody mistakenly put one of these transitional fades here. One of the fades here. And you can just drag and drop these. On top of here and that'll fade your scene from one scene to another and so that's what had happened in this ISS feed so what that tells me number one the guy was on a separate layer altogether he was not in the space station and number two somebody made a mistake and accidentally put a fade transition on top of his video frame because I put a fade here to fade out to fade this out so my hand would appear empty with Joey Rock and the same thing happened here. The guy, uh, somebody mistakenly put the fade on the wrong frame. Sometimes in your transitions, you need things to appear on another video clip in the exact same place it was on the previous clip. And so green screens are used with what is called motion markers or tracking markers or a tracking grid. And you can see the markers on this green screen here by the uh, lightly colored triangles that are used. When doing up close precision work, uh, sometimes you're going to need something like this behind me here so that you can track objects precisely point to point. When doing precision work, such as floating objects close up in space, you need what is called a gridded screen. Now, a grid on a screen allows you to place objects precisely, cut the frame, and overlay other frames on top of that. In this case, they're using a, a blue screen and a technique called masking because they actually have to cut Tim Peake's arm off and place it precisely on another layer as so his arm can appear to grab the ball. Masking has its issues, though. As you can see, they accidentally cut off Tim Peake's elbow in the video that was shown to the public. In this video, I showed you how NASA uses transitions so they can extend hallways and do some pretty cool effects with transitions. After all, you can use transitions to go from one video clip to another and change something ever so slightly without anybody really noticing. Transitions are very useful in the video world, and sometimes we make mistakes, even I have, put transitions on the end of the wrong video clip. In my next video, I plan to talk about masking. Masking is a whole different process, and this is what NASA uses to produce all those cool floating through space effects that they do. 
And I will show you a video of something I did in Sony Vegas with masking. But for now, please like and subscribe for more truth and hope in the Word of God. Thank you for watching.